today I got a present. This marvelous package from the United Kingdom. And today I'm doing an unboxing video together with you guys. Hello my dear friends, I'm Xenia, welcome to my channel St. Petersburg Me. And in this video I'm gonna try some goodies from the United Kingdom for the first time in my life. So I think that might be interesting. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the unboxing. That is very very uh, exciting because um, this is my first parcel uh, ever. Um, so, okay, uh, the box looks like uh, it has been suffering during the the flight from the United Kingdom to Russia. How could they? do this stuff to a poor box so ah, how do I open it? Ah. and by the way this parcel was sent uh, from one of my followers his name is Steve Steve, hi Steve and thank you so much I'm very, very pleased, glad, and excited. Oh my god, I need bigger scissors. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. I'm excited. I wonder how people who order my Russian boxes do unboxing <laughs> because when I um, mail them, of course, um, girls in the post office like doing the same, a lot of um, tape. So okay. Uh, yeah, just look at it. A lot of goodies. Okay, what's this? Flavor past and sauce. Okay, that I think I must do some pasta. Flavor dried pasta rolls. Oh, it's dried pasta. Okay, I need to cook it. Wow. Okay. That's how this um, pasta looks. So, frankly speaking, that was the most unusual way that I cooked, that I ever cooked pasta or macaroni. So, uh, adding milk to water is quite unusual to me. Mm. It tastes like, you know, like macaroni. Mm, its uh, taste is mild, not um, salty, the way that I like it. Mm, you know, quite unusual taste because when I cook pasta, I just use butter and cheese. And that's how I make cheese sauce. But this cheese sauce is like, mm, I don't know. But it's quite good. Mm. And uh, frankly speaking, I've never seen uh, this thing in a Russian store. Or maybe I just um, haven't noticed that because, you know, I just buy a pack of uh, macaroni and go. Maybe we have it, but I don't know, frankly speaking. I've never seen this. Quite, quite good. 
if you need a quick snack that is totally what you need oh so I will be showing you so this is melt cheese snackable biscuits okay let's try it I suppose to try right okay oh okay and by the way I prepared my tea oh here here is my tea to help me out if something is um, something needs water okay cracker mm. nice mm. what I like about it is that it's not salty mm, and it has sprinkles cheese sprinkles mm? very good very good that I will be eating for breakfast I suppose or taking to my office as a snack okay all right all right what do I have here as well oh Easy Oats original so oh it's grains for porridge mmm very very good this says Scottish Oats like this This is for breakfast. Here. Mm -hmm. Noodles. Wow. Noodles. Barbecue beef. <laughs> Kellogg's. Oh, I heard about Kellogg's. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, let's show it first. This is something... What is this? Toasted rice cereal in milk bar. Oh, that is nice. Wow. Individual packaging. Very nice. Okay. really nice I will not be eating too much like a part of something because it's evening and I'm trying to get slimmer but this is nice mm. Mm -hmm. next next is instant custard instant custard oh that is for cakes I suppose so here it is. Just pour the contents of this pack into boiling water and whisk it vigorously. Okay, let's do that. This one mm. it's quite good. We also have custard in Russia, but um, if I'm not mistaken, our custard is very thick, and uh, the most popular 
cake with uh, Russian custard is Napoleon cake and once you are in Russia you absolutely have to try it it's very tasty it's one of my favorite cakes and bellissima you have to try it once you are in Russia very nice mm -hmm. oh tomato cup soup wow To a sachet, add water, boiling water, stir well, and wait for two minutes. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. So, let's do the trying. It's very hot. It smells like tomato. Mmm, tastes like our tomato juice, but hot. We drink tomato juice um, cold, but it's a <laughs> Hot tomato juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quite a bit salty for me, but it's okay. Mm. It's quite good. Oh, hot, hot. Mm. Super rice. Super rice. As for this super rice pack with golden vegetable flavor, guys, welcome to my Instagram. I will be testing it there. Mm -hmm. Mini, mini cheddars. I think it's uh, also um, crackers because it's shown here. So, okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Cheesy. Mm-hmm. Yorkshire tea. Wow. I think I'll be okay. I will not be drinking my tea today. I think I will go with this one. Hmm. 40, 40, 40 tea bags. Okay, let's make some tea. All right. So, okay, tea, English tea. English tea for English breakfast ingredients black tea so it's it's not for English breakfast or English dinner okay oh how do I open it need some scissors again I know that there is something like the here but it it wasn't opening now it's opening uh, not even now. Oh my! Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Hmm. Is it? It's it's black, Timmy. It's black. Black, Timmy. Okay. Oh, some, 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 some mess. You know, I still have um, a problem with my smell after COVID. So um, I smell only things like with uh, 
very strong smell. Uh, so now, oh, I I can smell it. Okay, let's try. Oh no, something else. A spoonful of um, ah, <laughs> honey. So okay, let's try tea. Yorkshire tea. Mmm. Tastes tastes very strong, but the color is not so strong. So after COVID, I started feeling weird uh, for some smells and tastes, so I don't know how this should taste, but it tastes like, like black tea, but uh, like a very strong black tea with very, very um, sharp taste. Yeah. So, let's go further. Oh, it's the second package of crackers and it's, oh, it's olive and here, uh, and here it was cheese. So, let's try olive. Okay. This uh, tastes differently, of course. Um, this tastes very mildly. Mm. And I can taste olives. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Mm. Frankly speaking, I don't know how to eat crackers. Mm. Guys, do you put um, butter or uh, some sauces on it or just eat like this? Because, yes, we have that in our stores, but I'm a person who's on, always on a diet, <laughs> so I don't buy this. But of course I will eat this. Mm. So, please go down to the comments and give me a hint how to eat it just like this with tea or something some other way that would be very very helpful because I have two packages and this two packages were this so please give me a hint okay Next. Oh, next is noodles again, and it's a different flavor, chicken. And here, oh, barbecue. So, I'll be trying this, of course. In Russia, we also have instant noodles, but according to the directions, we cook them uh, in a different way in Russia. So, we just put uh, the contents in the bowl and uh, pour hot boiling water inside and uh, put a lid on and wait for five minutes and that's it. While you have to put your noodles in the boiling water in a pan so put the content of this pack also here all right all right, we have the same pack here. This directions also say to reduce the heat and simmer it for another four minutes. And that, you know, is a very, very unusual way to cook this kind of uh, noodles for me. 
Okay, let's see what we'll have. And I'll do like this. Just in case. First, the sauce. Mmm, very nice. You know, it's not so salty as Russian instant noodles. And I really like it because I cannot eat Russian noodles because they are so salty, uh, unbearable. And this, wow, this is okay, this is nice. Mmm. Not salty at all. Wow. Very nice. Of course, that is not what I would eat on a daily basis, but sometimes, you know, you need something not very healthy. Very nice. Oh. And here. Okay, here is, I don't know what they did to the parcel because that is completely, completely damaged, but still, melt loaf, the original melt loaf, so in, so this is here, so in looks like like this. And what's this? Is it a, um, some kind of muffin ingredients? How to enjoy me? Oh, there's instructions. Wow, for people like me. Okay, how to store me? How to enjoy me? Okay, toast me under the grill. Pile me with jam. Top me with cheese or just enjoy me as I come. Toast me under the grill. I have a grill, you know, but I would like to have just like this. Mm. delicious it looks like a bread with mm, mm, with um, mashed raisins inside tastes quite nice But it sticks to um, teeth. Mm. To me, it's unusual. Mm. I need to check it. Okay, so the word loaf. Of course, tells us that it's bread. Oh, and I was right. It, there's, there's reasons. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like uh, we say it in Russia when something is uh, like, you know, like here, uh, like uh, pictured or and but you still doesn't see and don't understand, and then uh, you just see the picture or something just gives you a hint what it something is. So we say, like, this was meant for dummies, you know, like, тупых, было нарисовано. Okay, raisins, yeah, it's, uh, those are raisins. In a bread. I don't know how I will be uh, grilling it, because it's, I suppose, was damaged, damaged uh, during transportation. Thank you, but still that is quite good. Mm. We have similar here, but not, of course not like this. 
Okay. <clears throat> this is quite good. I don't know, frankly speaking, if I would be eating this like on a daily basis, but uh, as a um, treat, it's very, very nice. Okay. What's more? Oh. All butter sword bread fingers. Oh. Looks this. Okay, let's try it. Xenia. Really messy. All butter fingers. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very buttery. Mm. In uh, Russia, we call this type of dough pisochne. Pisochne tiesto, like um, sand dough. But because it's like cracking and rasypaitsa. Um, rasypaitsa. I forgot. <laughs> or don't remember or don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the word. So it's рассыпается like sand. Mm. Mm. Very strong buttery taste. Good. Mm. Mm. Next. Oh. Mm. So two packages with different um, flavors. And what is this? Angel Delight. No added sugar. That's nice. Butter, butter's scotch flavor. Okay. Mmm, delightful. Okay. What's this? Whip up. A delightful and fluffy instant treat. Okay, I will be mm, whipping up this, I think, tomorrow. You know, I still don't get it uh, what kind of dessert this is. But okay, let's try to make it. So, milk, 300 milliliters. It says I have to to whisk until light and creamy. Okay, let's do it. Light and creamy, that's what I need. Just look at the texture. Wow, I whisked it, you know. Wow, it smells like something, uh, something milky, but the package says it's uh, butterscotch flavor. Frankly speaking, I don't know what it is. So, okay, let's try it. Yeah, something very, very similar to, you know, um, Mm, how how I can put it like caramel milkshake mm -hmm. something else yeah something else okay wow huh strawberry flavor laces okay and Milk booties and shrimps and bananas. Shrimps. Shri oh, it's like uh, fruity and foamy. Shrimps is like their uh, shape. Okay. 
Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, it's melted. It melted. So it says it super smooth. Yeah, it's super smooth that after COVID I cannot taste it properly. Yeah, very very smooth. Tastes milk, but not very very sharp. Okay, let's try shrimps. Mm, very sugary. Shrimps. Oh yeah, shrimps. Mm. They are different in texture. That's why it melted and mm, what do you call it? To each other. Oh my god. To each other. I forgot the word sorry and this uh, texture oh this is like mm, very soft and uh, uh, doing like this but and this is just you can chew it uh, really really easy and this so uh, you can see i'm not a food um expert mm. Yeah, very sugary. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this smell I can taste. I can feel the smell. like cherry or strawberry or oh, strawberry yeah Strob strawberry flavored sweets I think it's the same in your country too oh cheese broccoli past oh it sticks sticks to uh, finger not fingers tooth teeth mm-hmm Pasta. I think it's like ready made. I need to to what? I need to I need to pour milk and boil. Okay, I'll try this. And and that's it. Wow, so many things. My God, how will I be eating this? But I will. Mmm. Very strong flavor. Very strong. Mmm. Very nice. So, my dear friends, and Steve, thank you so much. Thank you, Steve, for all these things, goodies. It's so, so exciting for me uh, because I've never received any packages so. Thank you so much, Steve, for um, mailing me this. And thank you so much, my dear friends, for watching my video. Thank you, and see you in the next one. Bye!